Hey everybody, this is Peter Palmiotti. Hope you like my new intro. <laughs> and today, we are finally getting to part two of my She Simber uh, extravaganza. Um, so, I'm going to flip through the first 14 or 15. I'm not going to worry about the numbers or whatever, but, uh, let's see, uh, 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 here we go, boop, 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 you've seen these before, in part one, where I commented on each piece, and I'll stop about here, I think I commented on all those, um, if not, then, oh well. Uh, so, here's part two of my Shisemba drawings. Uh, just a brief background. Uh, I set out to draw a lot more, and um, my friend Marshall Lee put together Shisemba for December, drawing females every day. And I decided to join and uh, I used a lot of reference for most of these. Uh, you can kind of tell which ones I didn't, um, but it was all a lot of fun, and um, uh, doo -doo -doo. so I think I think I didn't comment on this one. Uh, apologies if I did. <laughs> Uh, but I uh, really like how this one came out um, using kind of using limited shading on the f body form kind of a little darker on the face but I uh, really like the way it came out um, here's another one uh, yeah her, love her face um, Overall, you know, if if this was going to be a finished drawing, you know, for sale or something, I wouldn't have tightened it. I would have tightened it up a bit. Um, <laughs> oh God, why do I always get hungry when I start filming? Um, <laughs> but yeah. I uh, kind of I uh, really like the shading on her face and uh, the rest of it is just form and whatnot. But uh, uh, then this one, uh, it's 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 almost there. It's almost perfect. Um, it was a, a a picture I had where it was the top of her hair was combed and then it turned into dreadnought dreadnoughts, uh, dreadlocks, um, uh, I got a message, a text, um, hopefully I have enough time to this, <laughs> don't distract me, Texas, um, yeah, I got a cell phone now, so, uh, you could text me at home or anywhere, um, yeah, so, I really loved her hair, and, and I sort of made her into a witch and put some flames behind her, and, uh, it's, it's not a hundred percent perfection, um, it was just, you know, most of these are, it, it was just good to challenge myself and draw every day and, um, push myself to be better. Uh, a lot of it comes down to noticing more and more of my little mistakes and um, you know coming up I want to do a lot more finished pieces and obviously get back into uh, ink drawings and whatnot um, or not so obvious to you but obvious to me uh, so you know eye, eyes are a thing I don't really gotta grit it and, and, and make sure my eyes are in exactly the right space and my nose is a little long and sometimes that works for certain characters but not always um so yeah you know uh 
I should have done a little more feathering on the on the top of her hair and actually finished her head. Uh, but other than that, I didn't really like that piece. And this one was pretty cool, a little too dark near the <laughs> the nose pinch. Um, but uh, I really like some of the line work going on. And um, if I did spend more time on it, it would have been on her arm and, and chest area uh, give a lot more definitive something <laughs> um, contours and all that jazz and definitely if this was a finished piece I would have it was a lot of juicy line work I would have really done some feathering with the brush and whatnot. Uh, and this one, I think I use reference, uh, although if you, it kind of feels like I made it up. Uh, I forget exactly, uh, but definitely like the background <laughs> was just inspired. Uh, blow her mind. Um, I think I said in my Instagram post of this one. Um, even though it's it's very dark on her face, there's a lot of uh, accents within it. That I, I love how that came out. Had a little fun with her hair. Uh, although it's like her mouth is turned to her right, but her head is facing towards the left, so that didn't work out. But you get the general idea. Um, this one um, was more like uh, I I tried to include different raises. Uh, and I believe she was Malaysian and kind of kind of came close to, to to it I can't stop <laughs> recording this would be done soon um, so yeah I, I kind of really really happy with this one her chin is a little too it should have been a lighter touch um, but I really like a lot of the line work going on here and uh, then this one is the total opposite it's like it's harder to draw simplicity for me so I just tried to do a cartoon female and keep it as simple as possible and I, you know I think I succeeded you know with all her hair looks like a, a plastic wrap <laughs> of some sort um, but other than that it, it was fun um, this one is oh I'm really curious okay I'm going to stop well not stop but I'll be right back okay sorry about that got my little black phone all right, who's messaging me? Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I got a few minutes. <laughs> Sorry about that. So yeah, uh, a little too hard on her. Um, on our face it looks a little manly uh, but I like a lot of the artwork although her hair you know I like the way her hair came out it goes counter to a lot of the other line work um, but uh, this was definitely a success for the most part um, this one it's it's a little it's a little like oh This, this is my future, folks. Just, I'll try to plan it around not getting messages. Wait, what happened? What the heck? Eh. Oh, wait. Why the hell? Oh, my God, I'm sorry. Did it go all the way up? 
Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, okay, so this is where was I? Oh, I may I put it in the red because it reminded me a little bit of Red Riding Hood. Um, oh yeah, her face is slightly turned a bit. So it's like, if this is straight on, it's a little like, it's a little to the side, uh, if you get my gist. Although the features don't accent it good enough. It's just a little slight, you know, you could see it a little bit if you look close. But anyway, mostly successful. Um, this, I like a lot of line work going on. It, it's, it's, you know, a, as an anchor, I see where, like, I would flesh things out differently to make it more consistent. Um, I'm not adverse to doing feathering that's going up and down and then doing feathering that's going left and right and even diagonally, um, I just make it flow much more when going in with angst. So that said, um, you know, it's mostly on track. Um, but it kind of gets muddled. You know, if you're looking at her, her right arm, you know, her pit, it's kind of like smudged smudged in <laughs> you know and her hat looks a little big uh, the the, uh, the picture I had I think it was kind of accurate to the picture but uh, it just looks a little big um, but yeah another fun piece this one's another fun piece uh, she had a wet shirt on um, and yeah, I I think it mostly works. Is there's not enough definition on like where her face ends and it just falls into shadow. I, I think uh making it more distinctive and, and you know giving it a harder line would have worked better. Um, with maybe a little halo around her face. Uh, would have look a little smoother and, and feminine, um, but mostly it's like the the arm and the hand that had were challenging to me. So if this was a finished drawing, I would have gone a lot smoother on those lines and uh, like the the fingers on the hand look a little too long. Um, and and the elbow is a little too <laughs> a little too much detail for a female definitely um but uh you know hey I, I was trying to push myself uh this one i love it's almost there it's like the the shoulders look almost like a turtle shell um but that's okay um and the eyes are a little off but it's mostly there, and I, I love the line work on it. You know, this this is an example of where, you know, lines go all off in different places, but it's it kind of all fits together. Um, this one it was a little more rushed and, and smudged, but um, I, I like a lot of line work. Um, the the arms definitely, the hands could have been better. Um, and the, the thighs, um, yeah, kind of like an afterthought almost. Um, but, uh, you know, a little heavy with the shadow, but I like the way the face came out. The uh, mouth could have been pushed off, pushed over a little bit. And this one's a, a big smudge. <laughs> it's like, I'm not sure if her head is tilted or where her chin is. I kind of just fudged it, um, but, you know, 
working with form, working, you know, on uh, anatomy, something I'm striving more and more to do. Uh, this one was much better. I love the hair in the back of the head. Uh, I don't always draw hair great in pencil. It's something I'm really good at in inking stage. Um, so this was my attempt. It's a little stiff, but uh, attempt to do hair better in, in just in pencil. Um, and then here's the final piece. Uh, spent a lot more time on this one. You know, kind of smudged the, the, the mouth. Um, it it was getting too dark and I erased a bit of it and just let it be as is. Um, but over, overall, I like the piece. There's little details about it, like the, the her left hand that goes like this. Um, looks a little long and wonky, but uh, overall. So anyway, uh, there are my pieces. I'm going to, now that I, I fixed the technical stuff, uh, I'll be, um, what you call it, uh, doing a lot more videos coming up. Hopefully get up another one in a couple of days. I've been working on my studio, cleaned a bunch of it. Now it's down to paperwork. So on and on we go. Hope you're productive. And um, if you're not already a patron, become a patron. Because we love you. And... Uh, please like, comment, and share. And also subscribe if you're not already. And I hope to see you again soon. Alright, love you all. Bye.